All right, we've reached the finals in our scratch division. Cameron Weir versus Marshall Kent. Let's give a nice round of applause to send them on their way. There's more people than that. Come on. I got a feeling this might be a loud match. Okay, we're looking at Cameron Weir here at today's mulligan format. Uh, Cameron with three mulligans left, Marshall with two mulligans left. We could see a really long match here. Um, two people that take their time. Um, if we shoot, if we have a 300 though, we won't have to worry about any mulligans. All right, Cameron on his way. Cameron just off of a 256 on this pair. Oh, I didn't think the 10 was gonna carry, but 10 carries. We are at West Seattle Bowl today. It is Easter 2011. Uh, let's see, we bowled on the USBC Nationals pattern 2011 and West Seattle Bowl supplied the exact same oil machine, oil cleaner, lane surface as Nationals, so this played identical. Very low scoring, only three players were scratch after, or three players were plus after five games. Marshall Kent looking for a strike to start out his match. Hey, he throws a strike. Shots inside right now. Uh, you're looking at the same finals we had yesterday. We had Cameron edging out Marshall. Cameron getting his 10th title yesterday. Cameron trying to get number 11. Marshall not really sure what number he is. Oh, so race to 11 here. Someone's going to get to 11 and take the lead, right? That's the highest number of titles. Yeah, it goes forward. Plunkett didn't get to 11. I don't think Plunkett got to 10. I could be wrong. I don't know. Okay, Marshall looking in on lane 21. Trying for an early double. You're gonna see you're gonna see Mulligans used for for 10 pins. Oh, he goes a little high. Mulligan! Nobody's not afraid. Perry, tell us how this uh, shot played today. Well, um, start out a little bit right. You have to be kind of right at 10. Outside, outside of five was OB. As the lanes broke down, uh, your break point had to be at 10 to get in the pocket. Either that you washed out, or if you were left at 10, you went to the nose. Perry taking fourth place today. Perry, nice successful weekend, fourth and third. Yeah, yeah it was pretty good. We're happy right there. Other finishers in the scratch division, Tyler Bowe losing his last match to Cameron, finishing third place. That's his highest finish in his first top five ever in the Northwest. To him. He had yeah, I did I did know that was his first two five or top five. Cameron going uh, it looked pretty good. I like that shot better than the other shot. Leaving a flat ten. Elects not to use oh might use it. Maybe. Doesn't know. Maybe he's thinking about it. Thinking about using a mulligan here. He's got three to play with, so let's see. Doing it. Okay, go for it. Cameron electing to use his first mulligan. Now it's tied two to two. I like that move. Early in the match for that one. Huh? Early in the match for that one. I think so. Because you got to remember, you might use two mulligans in one frame yeah, as you get exactly. down down to the end. Cameron using his mulligan. He'll really, really be looking for a double here. Yeah, it's a it huge down. shot. Anything other than doubles is disastrous. The only problem is, is, you know, Mulligan can make it worse than this. Yeah, this instance. I, 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 I see a lot of people using Mulligans earlier in the beams today and end up being costly. That's a better shot. Okay, we'll see if that pays off. We're all tied. What was the other finisher? We had uh, Tyler, Cruz, yeah. Tyler Cruz, fifth place. Yeah, Bo had the, that. Bo had a really good look. He just lost his carry there yeah. a little at the end. He th hits the pocket. I think out of two games, he only missed the pocket once. That was yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah, definitely could not miss. He had. He really had the best look out there. Just kept going further. Yeah, keep it up. Yeah, but that's why it wasn't carrying though. Yeah. Cameron out. This is a this is also a big shot because of his mulligan. It's a good shot. Roll it. He's gonna roll it. Oh! So that mulligan ends up being huge because yeah. he throws a three bagger. Cameron. Cameron. 
if you remember, Marshall went high on the, on the second frame, leaving a four pin, or carrying out, tripping the four pin. He's playing deeper than what he was during match play. Mm, Chicago just scored. Rebound, goal. Lay around that ball. Get to the lane. Dead even, two mulligans each. And for a shootout. No, it's kind of what happens in all the tournaments. I mean, no matter what we start with, you guys find a way, especially in this final pair, to carve in oh, yeah. where you guys want to play. And I mean, you guys are throwing the ball well, but you do have more area on these matches than you than you do early in the day. Fill up that hole to the outside and a little burn spot there too. Yeah, you just don't want to you don't want to let it outside. Let the oil help you here. It's gotta oh, push. he is gotta deep. Push. Getting a good break though. He could have left a big four there. I don't think it will matter because I think he's going to use his mulligan here. Might have a 300 actually on uh, on <laughs> video camera. If this. So Marshall got one left. Marshall with one mulligan left. Cameron with two mulligans left. I wonder if people are people that don't bowl our tournaments are watching. Going, why do they keep on erasing their yeah. scores when they don't strike? <laughs> no wonder they're so good. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> See if Marshall makes an adjustment off the shot. I think he just I think he just he got just it too far it. in. Yeah. Yeah, oh he got it out. That's better. Alright. Four bigger. Let's see if Cameron can match. If Cameron doesn't strike here, I've got a feeling he'll use his mulligan because it will yeah. it will put him dead even with Marshall again. Exactly. Defensive mulligan? Yeah. I'll tell you what, when we started the tournament today, I would I would have told you that Cameron would have all of his mulligans left when he got to the finals. I, I don't either. I didn't see I didn't see the map Because if I remember right, last time we had this format, he had all of his mulligans. What is that? Four, the antlers. That's <laughs> four in a row antlers. The antlers coming out. Yeah. He didn't put three goggles last shot. The three goggles? Are these your own things or are these something that well, it just, someone else has started? Well, we spent start up here and the three goggles came from basketball, but we're using them bowling now. Oh, so. okay. What's five? What are we gonna see with five? Uh, it's gonna be like a five dollar. Five dollar? Like the subway commercial stuff. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see the five dollar right here. Oh, oh that's, that's, got a, that's a good shot. Tip! Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> five dollar. Five dollars. <laughs> Yes, and we are proudly sponsored by Subway. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. All right, Marshall. <laughs> what a match with these mulligans, man. These guys should hold doubles sometimes. Oh, they have like the best team challenge ever, their team challenge team ever put together. Yeah. And, and the coolest shirts, yeah. I want a team. I want a team to wear all of those pants that Nick Backteller. Wore. Slobmouth pants. Evan, I think you're right. You might see it from out there. <laughs> I don't know. The pressure will get to him at the end. Did you just go get an egg? You don't want What'd you get? Twenty-three. 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 Yo, well, do you think it's gonna say twenty paid raffle tickets? Before you leave, let me make sure I write it down on the slip because I'm keeping track of all the winners. 
All right, Marshall looking for a six bagger. What, what, what's the six bagger? Six pack? Or he won't do it though, will he? No, he won't do it. Oh, that's got a whole... Oh, and we got oh six! <laughs> well, the inside of the shot or the outside of the shot? Yeah. Okay, he, that, that's, a little that's a tough lane for Mar yeah. Marshall right now. You get that right, get that right at the brakes too. Oh, Cameron looking for a six bagger here. He's playing so much farther out. Yeah. We can roll too, though. Whoa. He's got a push. Wow, it pushed. Woo! Oh. <laughs> okay, what's seven? Uh, we have yet. To oh wait, we don't get to seven. Perry only goes front nine like every first game of every JVT. Yeah, front nine or front eight. Nine frame, it's always good. Yesterday you went front nine, didn't you? Oh, front eight. Front eight, front eight yeah. Nine frame. In exactly. game one. Seems like it's yeah, always it's game always one. Game one. Always game one. And it's always, I bowl bad in game eight, too. So let's see, we have six strikes more to go, and he's got yeah. two mulligans, so two it's mulligans. very doable. Yes. Very doable. And they got this thing wide open, too. Marshall has one. Marshall has, Marshall has one left. Yeah. Two to one. Cameron advantage. Shot good here. That looks pretty good. Push. Push. That looked pretty good. I, th I thought it was good. <laughs> well, this is why they are in the finals. <laughs> What do you do? Nothing. We, we, I don't know. We, we, we got to make up something for seven. None of us can ever get past six. So we yeah. <laughs> We stop at seven. We stop at six. Keep doing the six pack. Yeah, it's a six pack. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> see if Marshall can match him right here. Six, six pack. Marshall up on the right lane. This is he likes this lane a little better. He's got a little more room, I think, on this lane. I, I, I don't think there's ever been a, a 300 on on JVT Telecast, but no. because of the mulligan, it would de definitely have to be an oh, asterisk. Yeah, a little asterisk. We got two chances here, only five five more strikes for each one of these bowlers. They definitely go back five a lot of times, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it past them. Yeah, now it really. It really becomes a big deal who gets or who's finishing first versus last because of the mulligan issue. Because you're going to be able to see what your opponent does. Oh, that's good. Number eight, Ocho. Double hand bone. I hate the word hand bone. And this man being in this match. Woo -hoo. All right, <laughs> Cameron looking to match Marshall. Cameron pretty much has two tries here, really. Pretty much Cameron's got two shots again to strike here. So I'd, I'd say there's pretty good chances that he's going to have front eight at the end of this frame. I would even say he would use both of his mulligans here if he had to. It's taking a little more time. What an exciting... I told you this was going to be an exciting match. It's not long because we haven't had any spares. Gotta push. Hit that dartboard down there. This is really fun to watch. This is awesome. This is what it's all about, huh? Exactly. Let's look around the watch. And this isn't, this isn't supposed to be an easy shot. No. It's not like we're on a house shot, guys. We're on. I say yes, but I'm not 100% positive. Yep. We could never go home. How long those videos go? Huh? How long those videos go? That will go. Cameron looking to get first person to nine. He'll have two tries, or three tries, really. 
Gotta push. Push, push, push. Oh! He almost carried Crowell an 8 pin. That would have been a weird 8 pin though, because it was a. He was really tight. It pushed. It was a tight 8 pin. That would have been weird. That was almost like ball went right through it. Yeah. Eight pin. Holy cow. Cameron's gonna shoot 300 because now he's got he's three strikes and he's gonna have five shots. That's a score too. Sweet! Holy cow. I think we might have a little off. Make it even better. Let's see here. Marsh has got to have this shot. He's got to have it. This is his lane. Oh, no. He's going to have to use his mulligan here. He's got to use it. Well, he doesn't have to. But you, I think you have to because if Cameron throws the first one in the tent, it's over if he, yeah. if he goes spare here. Exactly. Yep. Oh man, he came a little light. On this lane, he's been really flush, and he just came up a little light. That was just You'll notice the camera's getting a little shaky here. I'm feeling nervous for these guys. <laughs> I'm not really nervous. Well, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a preparing. <laughs> Too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I think we announced that earlier. A possible, lot of possibilities. 300, 300 tie. All right, this is a big, big shot. Oh, it takes the eight pin down. I'm telling you, on that lane, you can get it right and it carries. Yeah. On this lane, it won't do it. What, what, I, what I have the match, uh, 21 was tighter than 22. Yep, and 21. Yeah. 21, this is, not, this, this is not Marshall's favorite lane, though. No. Not. But, so Cameron's elected to have Marshall finish first, so Cameron knows what he's got to do. Both going for title number 11, both front nine. The end of a crazy weekend. What's that? They're both the same call. Yeah, it's a Robert Morris matchup once again. And this this will be a video that gets a lot of hits. I will tell you this. It's got a hit. It's got a hit. Alright, alright. Number that was a big shot. That was his best shot in that lane so far. Oh, throws two, he can't lose. I think that's one of the what, so, what we should make it is um, next year, if you have mulligans left over and you tie, you win. <laughs> Why not? If you tie, it breaks the tie. Alright, this is a big shot. Big shot just gives him a chance for a 300. Exactly. I want to see a bunch of motion. That sounded really smooth. Oh no! Nice round of applause. Now this one pin is. Now this one pin is pretty important. That was that was left in the break. Well, he he didn't. Lie. I mean, it came out so clean off his hand you couldn't even hear it. Yeah. He threw it. A little, probably a little too pure, if you ask me. Yeah, probably. Yes. And I mean, leaving that though, that was that, that was that was a great looking shot when it hit the pocket. It hit with authority. Spare. Uh oh, I'm telling you, that's a big spare. Nice, nice game. Let's not forget there was two more games. So. <laughs> All right, so Cameron. See if Cameron can't get this done. I'd really like to see 300 here. All right, so strike nine spare is a win. Two strikes is a win. Yeah. I think Marshall figures it's over. And Cameron's pretty much got three shots to time him. Oh, exactly. Because Cameron hasn't been out of the pocket. If, if he gets this shot, it's over. He gets this shot. Get it! Oh, yeah. Did you took him down again? 
You never know. Here's where it gets in, here's where it gets interesting. You leave a 10 pin, right? And you, you don't take the mold, and if you miss it, you take the mold. Yeah. Because you have two chances. Yeah, I But but if he doesn't take the if he doesn't take the mold, he will have a chance for a three hundred. So yeah. I wonder what he'll do. I'll take, I would, I would, I would take it's not a guaranteed win though. You have to pick up the ten pin, you get two tries. I would, I, would, I, would, I would take the win. You don't get the you have to pick up a ten pin. And after missing it once. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about it. Alright, here's here's three shots. Three chances for a 300. <laughs> I can do this! It's over! You won! Alright man. I don't think anybody's ever been in the 12th, 12th shot and he gets three chances. Does he get his name on the sheet? I don't, I don't know. I think, so. I think he should. But I probably not. It's fine. Probably not. Well, this one's going to get a lot of play on YouTube. Come on. Get loud. Come on, Cameron. Hit it. Push, push. Mulligan! Mulligan! <laughs> Mulligan! And even though that's an asterisk, that's our very first ever 300 on JBT Telecast. You know what? He doesn't take that Mulligan on that seven minutes. Cameron, how do you feel? Uh, a little hot, yeah. Little what? A little hot. A little hot? You are a little hot. bit better since the semester winning. There you go. That's Number 11, show me 11. 11? Number 11, right? Yeah. Title? Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>